Hi, I'm Amos with Moog Music, and I'd like to show you just a few steps to get started using the Moog Minotaur in a digital audio workstation like, in this case, Ableton Live. I'll show you how to get set up, connected, and then show you a few different tricks that you can use to uh, adapt the Minotaur to different methods of production. The tools that I have here are a USB MIDI controller keyboard, the Moog Minotaur, and a multi-channel audio interface that's sitting here under the laptop. And a multi-channel audio interface is key to a lot of production using outboard gear, especially analog gear like the Minotaur. You want a high quality recording path and you want the ability to send sounds back and forth because as you'll see, in addition to being an incredible musical instrument, you can also use the Minotaur as a processor on your other tracks. First, we're going to use the Minotaur as an external instrument, which replicates the functionality that you get with a basic VST plugin, only bringing it fully into the analog domain. You go to Live's instrument folder and on the list of instruments is external instrument. You can just drag that onto a MIDI track and we'll go ahead and rename this, call it Minotaur. And on this track, we have this external instrument and we're going to say here MIDI 2 Moog Minotaur. You see it comes up by name on your MIDI menu. And audio from, I happen to have it plugged into audio channel one here. So this is now set up to route MIDI to the Minotaur and audio back from the Minotaur all on one MIDI track. And the nice thing about this is you can treat this exactly like a plugin. You can sequence MIDI for it, you can record automation and parameter tweaks, and the key with this approach to production is that everything stays in the MIDI domain, everything stays completely flexible and tweakable, and nothing is committed to audio. So for example, we can record here. And you can see we've got all those MIDI notes here on this track. And the nice thing about that is, once you have a nice little loop set up that you like, or whatnot, you can uh, record MIDI tweaks and a parameter automation. Right here, as I'm turning the Minotaur knobs, it's sending MIDI information to live. So if I just click back here, play back, then that uh, filter automation that I just did is now recorded as a part of the MIDI on that track. And you can see it here under the envelopes. You'll see under MIDI control, MIDI CC19 is highlighted, which is the filter cutoff, and you can see that sweep right there. And you can take automation that you've created like this and copy and paste it and create automation patterns, and all of this will affect your audio in playback, but if you don't like it or you want to change it, it's very easy to edit and move around and change. Another very flexible way of using the Minotaur is to have one MIDI track sending MIDI to the instrument and then multiple audio tracks, one for each different type of instrument that you want the Minotaur to play. So we'll start out here with this MIDI track and I'll just call it Minotaur MIDI. And this audio track, I'll dedicate that to my bass and set audio from channel one, which is the Minotaur. And on this MIDI track, I've got MIDI from all ins and all channels, and you can customize that to only listen to certain MIDI controllers if you like. Set MIDI to Moog Minotaur, and if I monitor that, we still have our Minotaur, but I'll need to set up the output. As I said, I'm using a multi-channel audio setup, so right now I want the Minotaur to go out to channel four of my audio interface, and if I set that to monitor, you can hear it. Okay, so first we want to dial up a nice bass sound. I'm going to switch over now to the Minotaur Editor, which is a free piece of software developed by Moog Music, which is available as a free download when you register your Minotaur on our website. So you can see here we have this beautiful control panel replicating one-to-one -one the features on the Minotaur. And in addition to that, you can go under the hood and see all of the additional parameters that we have available. For now, I'm going to go to the Preset Editor, which allows you to quickly save and load presets from your computer to the Minotaur. So I have a bunch of presets that I've created here so far, and it's just as easy as clicking on them, you can tour through them. Okay, I like the sound of that. So we're gonna go with that. You can see that this is running in conjunction with Ableton Live. So I can just switch back to Live here and come up with a nice bass line for this sound. Okay, so I've created a little MIDI bass line here, and now the key to this method of operation is I'm going to immediately print that to audio, and then move on and do another track with the Minotaur. So I've got my bass audio track here, I've got my bass MIDI track going, I'll hit record on the audio, and I'll just record 
record a couple of bars of that. And now we can move on and create another track. So control T for a new audio track. I'll call this one kick and we'll add a Minotaur kick drum. So we can still use the same MIDI channel here. All that's doing is sending control information and I'll just name this clip kick. All right, so I've created a MIDI track named kick and I'll start, I can just give it a nice little four on the floor, I think, easy enough. And now that happens to be the same bass sound, but it's easy enough to just dial up a kick. We'll go back over here to the Minotaur editor and under rhythmic, I have some kick drums. Simple kicks are easy to create on the Minotaur using the self-oscillating filter. You just turn up the resonance to maximum, turn the cutoff down to minimum, just about, or wherever you like it, and then you can use the filter envelope to shape the sound of your kick. So once you've got a sound you're happy with, you can record that as well. So I'll just hit record on my kick track and set monitoring back to auto so that we hear it. Okay, so we've created a bass track and a kick track and recorded a little bit of audio. And so that sounds like this now. And because that's been committed to audio, we can just keep on rolling and use the Minotaur for other things. In addition to using the Minotaur as an instrument, it also makes an incredible sequenced filter and sequenced gate effect. Remember to visit the Moog website and register your Minotaur and get a hold of the free Minotaur editor.